are coming back, guys, to Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn, where the final chapter is upon us, and with Jill at, well, ascending to ridiculous heights at the end of last episode. I've gun and battle experienced a few other characters, as well as sorted things out for what we need in the future, as you guys have told me specification-wise. We bought a lot of stuff, made a lot of weapons in which I learnt about what the vine cards and the raven cards are, ones that can give you coins and or just no bonus weapons at all, as well as made lots of named weapons which you might remember from Path of Radiance as well, like the Fenetrator is back. But in the meantime, I've not levelled up some people because to be honest their main stats are he's gonna cap speed most likely by the time he levels up luck and res not sure it so matters too much to battle experience level him at this point but I think he can go another level without battle experience up Makaya's at her usual unpromoted state only second tier soft could do some more levels himself he probably will definitely cap speed and skill so his overall stats are going to be great regardless, maybe defense as well with 12 more levels to go. Sanaki so is supposedly going to be forced for the future, and to be honest, just let her level up naturally as well is one of the things we're going to do. Rolf, our expert marksman, can just level up normally as well. So mainly the main person we've kind of leveled up here, I've taken off everyone's weapons except when they've got special, special weapons that they have to have on them. Mainly the only person I've really leveled up too much more. Oh, we're taking mists as well, by the way. Just because I think I need a primary healer, and I've got loads of people that I can use in healer positions, but can also do a fair bit of damage. So I thought mist will go along to support with Boyd. But yeah, the one I mainly battle experienced was Oscar, who ended up with stats such as these. Not quite capping defense, not quite capping res, etc., but skill, speed, luck, and strength all the way up as well. So not a bad person. He comes out kind of higher than Titania. Roughly, let's say that way, roughly about. You never know what she might end up with stats wise, but I think Oscar's done pretty well for himself, all the same. Plus, we didn't get him to level 20 last time, did we? Boyd's there, you can just level up normally still. His stat wise isn't so great, but with Mist there to kind of sure up his supports there with attack, defense, and hit. His overall stats are better if they kind of team up. We're not taking many Lagoos, if anything, only the ones that are forced upon us. Alincia, of course, has just been leveling up normally, and with strength and speed up fully, she can just continue leveling without battle experience as well. Many, many healing staffs on her, but most importantly, she's got herself the Amity, which will completely destroy. Rayson is the Heron that I'll be choosing, supposedly. Supposedly, you can take one Heron forward, and Lagoo's gem is on him ready. So everything's pretty much been set up. Neth as well has been battle experienced and with that strength skill speed luck res cap defense so close maybe you know a draco shield to on put on her and then make her super stupid but we can probably sort that later on jill super jill is still level to go for some reason now she's got a ton of built weapons but not all they may all be green but they don't necessarily have better stats on them. I was just making and seeing what the coins could do, and a lot of times we ended up with other things. Har has been battle experienced as well, and beautifully enough, while she may not have capped the magic that Jill has, we nearly have a perfect pair. I might even just use a magic thing on them, but a perfect pair of Dragon Laws. Mia still could level up, and she will cap skill and speed regardless. Doesn't necessarily need the other ones too much, so. No battle experience level for her just yet. And of course, Kavnaga is supposedly forced, as well as Enna, to go along as well. So everyone is set up, everyone has weapons and items and are ready to go, according to what you guys said. Plus my own choices of who I'm taking, what, where, and why. Supposedly I could take loads of Royal Lagoos who are always transformed and ridiculously powerful, but doesn't that make things a fair bit easier? I do not know. Can you make it much easier than having some of the ridiculously powerful guys that I have at my disposal. That's for sure. So with that said, I've also managed a lot of people with extra skills here, just changed them around, put the most useful ones on the ones we've keeping on, and I've unequipped pretty much everyone else as well. So things are available for our party members to be moved around or shoved and all that as we go along. Lots of weird and interesting abilities. The one I'm wondering about is, uh, where's Mist on the list? Right, has Paragon, of course, to boost up her level as well. 
There's one on Kurf, I think, as well. Paragon as well, just to boost him up. And get him some levels as fast as possible, as well as Blossom, so we can get a mix of between. I do not know. But with that said, that's basically the setup as we go forward, thanks to your guys, of course, before knowledge. However, I don't know why, but I'm about to find out. Well, that's someone also said to check the character tree. Because, of course, we should have most characters by now. Except Gawain, who we kind of know to be Grill. Pretty much the whole thing is now built. Merchant Convoy. We've got one missing here in the Senator's slot. Lan Vega's missing here. One missing in Goldoa. Lorzea is missing as well. Is he around somewhere? Well, is there no picture for him? I do not know. So there are a couple of missing slots still. But with that said, it's time to go forth. Leave base. Let's talking. The end game begins. Oh no! Yune, what is it? What's happening? This isn't good. These soldiers, we've killed them already. They've been reborn in flesh but not spirit. Brought back from the dead. A miracle of the goddess. A blasphemy you mean? How could the goddess of order violate the most fundamental natural law? Philosophy later, everyone. They're about to attack. We have a very powerful host ready to defend, and Makai is not doing much. Are you alright? Those dead soldiers really got you, didn't they? We can't win. All we do is kill the flesh, but she brings the flesh back. We need more time. No. There is no more time! Everyone else will be turned to stone, and I will be lonely forever. There's nothing more than I can do! I failed. I failed. Hune, get a hold of yourself. Ouch, my ears. What was that for, you big bully? Who do you think I am? Hune, the goddess of chaos. The warm-hearted being whose courage and love gives us the will to go on. Hi. thank you. As things stand, we can't bring everyone into the tower. We'll need support here to hold this position. But at the very least, how many are we going to need inside? They'll have much stronger forces inside the tower, not to mention Ashera herself. We'll send in our best eleven. Oh, and we'll want the two dragons, and one from the Heron tribe. As you said in the comments. And, uh, the Empress. Plus, it wouldn't hurt to have Sof. Understood. If that's everyone, I'll gather them together. And once we get inside, you can leave most of the fight to Micaiah. Who finally hits the promotion! We worked hard to get to this point, and now Micaiah changes dress completely. As she becomes a light priestess, gaining 4 HP, 5 strength, 2 mag, 2 skill, 2 speed, 5 defense, which is quite nice, and 2 res as well. Not bad. Not bad at all. The strength to help her carry some heavier tomes, I guess, or whatever, speed doubling, no penalties for the weight, constitution, etc, etc. I don't know understand, and I think you guys know that. But the speed is not too bad, it might be able to double with you soon. Something like this should work. I'm sure, I only gained plus two on like your main attacking stats though. We're ready. Right then, so now we choose our units. So it seems we can still go to the market and do all the stuff we would have needed to have done. Anyway, as you can see my funds have been depleted. 
and everything's been sorted. So I could have gone forward, found out for myself, and then kind of mixed things up and chosen who who. But you guys had given me the information far beforehand, which I can deal with. Not a problem. Oscar and Titania's support, by the way, has been broken up because now it's just Oscar and Rolf together. Kind of better to take those we take in, isn't it? Right then, so... Well, that said, we go back and we're choosing our units. So Ike, Mikaya, Soft, Sanaki, Kurvnaga and Enna are forced. Of course, Mikaya already ready with a Paragon, because it was obvious she was promoting. Discipline as well, though we do have weapon things just to upgrade her light and staff abilities, just for the time being, it can be switched around, but no Sigrun, no, none of the Royals, Rolf can stay, Marcia got completely surpassed by Lincia, didn't she? Aran is cool, but no, no, no. Right, so the original lot, only Rolf gets to stay. So apart from that, we can select nine more. So we need, of course, everyone picked up. So Mist is one, Soren Oscar Boyd. Just the grills, really. Favoritism much? Oliver never got to get used, but got to get recruited all the same. He didn't get killed, so I think he can, you know, hold on to that force. Alincia, Neff, Jill, Har, two Dragon Lords being taken. But uh, I don't think that's a bad thing. Mia. Volk, who's ridiculously good, but gets kind of cast aside because of Sof. And that's 16, but like... But they've read it out. Oh well, that is my troop. That is my forces. And the stats you can see in them are pretty high. Look at that, just that list there. Alright, so that is good for me. I've done my preparation thanks to you. Alright, everyone's almost ready. Who would you like to bring from the Heron tribe? Aha, so this is one I can bring. So we're bringing Rayson, the one we've known the longest. And with a Lagoo's gem that he's got equipped, should just be able to boost up for anyway, so that's all fine. Rayson, would you join us? Gladly. I'll give you everything I've got. Plus he has more f songs, doesn't he? Or more gold ra. So he has flexibility for us. Alright, Tower of Guidance. Here we come. It's so quiet. Is the goddess here? Uh-huh. She's at the top. Be careful, everyone. This tower is a sharer's home territory. She's certain to have her most powerful troops waiting for us up ahead. We must proceed with the utmost caution. Well, well, Apostle Sanaki. What a surprise seeing you here. Frankly, I'm amazed that you, of all people, would dare to set foot inside the most holy Tower of Guidance. Lacane, we've been looking for you for a long time. You bound Danes, your awful pact, hounded noble King Peleus, and stole countless lives in your appalling war. You are beyond redemption. Beyond redemption? My, that does sound dreadful. Whatever will you do with me? Oh, and let me remind you, the Blood Pact is still in effect. You would do well to remember that. I think you know what will happen to the people of Dane if you should dare oppose me. Enough. We fear your threats no longer. No more will we bow to your every whim. Now that we've found you, we will exact justice upon you and destroy the Blood Pact itself, ending its power over us. So, you figured it out, did you? It matters not. This changes nothing. Do you hear me? Here is the scroll for which you've been searching so diligently. Right here in my hands. Ah! And yet, none of you will ever lay one grimy little finger upon it. I have been blessed by the goddess herself. Her protection will not allow you fleas to even approach me. The cane, cease this travesty of virtue at once. What have we here? Oh yes, the Apostle. Excuse me, child, but I completely forgotten you were here. And somehow, despite the extraordinary plans of great men, here you are standing before my very eyes. If Sephiran and I hadn't been freed, 
You were just waiting for your chance to kill us? Just as you killed my grandmother! Out of respect for the imminently deceased, I'll be completely honest. Yes, you assume correctly. Your assassination and the plot to once again frame the Serena's herons for it was entirely my idea. Yes, I thought as much. Impressive, Sanaki. When you were first crowned, you would have cried your little eyes out. You've grown slightly. Lacain, Duke of Gados, before the 37th Empress of Benion, prepare to be judged. An amusing game, child, truly. But you must know that there is nothing you can do against me. I am the greatest servant of the all-knowing, almighty Ashera. I am a chosen champion. And you, Sanaki, are a pathetic wretch, mewling behind her pack of Dayan curs. Ashera's judgment is upon you. You will not live to be turned to stone. You will die here as flesh and blood. Well, choose units is a kind of useless screen if the rest have been left behind us. But repositioning is quite handy for us, considering we want the guys that are not completely one in terms of experience to go first, pretty please. So, uh, Boyd, there's a lot of armor knights here. There's a lot, a lot of people. Now, they are probably quite powerful overall, strength, etc. They won't be doubling me anytime soon, I don't think, but defense-wise, they're brilliant as well. So, one we need to move is Boyd. Boyd. Found you. Okay, so you can break down that side. You have a hammer. You do. And you have Irvin as well. Nice and ready and geared. Oscar's already leveled up, so... Mm. We've got Kerf there. Enna in the middle. Rolf waiting to get experience too. Soft. Of course, we've got this whole front lines to deal with. Which is going to be fun, isn't it? So essentially what I'm planning is maybe to just run to the sides. Send everyone that way and send Ike up for the mill. It might sound silly. It might be amazing. We'll have to find out, won't we? To be honest, out of positioning everyone... I don't think anyone is so sold in the way. I do not know. Ah, well. Better just not to think about it and go. Well, the music's changed a little bit. Now, a billion axe users who probably can't hit me. Always the good thing we like to see, first of all. And we've got the Vekati now, which doubles to kill. Nice. She cancelled into an Astrum. New abilities on people mean they can do a lot more. Well, that's one. Of course, we need at least two on either side. And these guys have got lances, which are great versus things overall, except when you're completely destroyed by something like this. Hammer, one shot. Farewell. If Miss was closer, he'd have even more damage. Disarm on top of that, you know. Now, I'm expecting him to level badly and continue to level badly. Or level okay. That was quite nice. Seems if I put him down, he pulls his finger out a little bit, doesn't he? Right, so, some extra strength is never unwelcome. Now, Mist, however, is not going to really be able to do much damage here. So it's time for us to get some more troopers in. Silver Axe, Silver Pole Axe, Silver Axe. Right, so we need one more that way to be able to guard front. Of course, we have Jill, who can just fly right over and smash down. She's still got some leveling to do, after all. Now, I have a question. And that's more along the lines of how much you hit for what's your hit chance. Okay. Alincia can actually destroy these, I'm pretty sure. But really, we just want Ike to be the one landing in the way of all of this. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to send the Farney Bomb that they so deserve. We could just elite us. No, we can't. Farney Bomb it have to be. And Paragon to boost up the experience. And hope for good levels for Makaya. There 
That works out fine. Now the other way we could look at it is just have five strong members at the front line here and defend that way rather than send everyone across and out. We've got five strong members around and we can still send you this way, madame. Now you still need to get weapon levels, I'm pretty sure. In fire. So if we go along with your Cymbeline tone, we might be able to get Rex Flame soon, or Bolgano we probably... No, okay, only Cymbeline. And then we'll set up a good, strong front line of ridiculous people in a second. Flare. How much res does he have? Does that kill him in one? It does indeed. So of our super powerful troop all around the place, I'm pretty sure I gave her a depth as well. Just no, no, I gave a Nihil. Nihil. Nihil! Just in case. But if we put, for example, the two dragons, Ike, and someone else on the front line, we would surely be able to do a serious defense as well as starting off this way. But tune in next episode as we continue on this adventure with our chosen corp ready to fight. What will happen next time on Fire Emblem? Radiant Dawn. Bye-bye.